Hi everybody, Jacob Reed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're going to go over the macroeconomics exam from 2023. This is question number two, set two. In order to do well on this question, you should be through unit six. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up that total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. Let's get into it. So this question starts off with the United States and South Africa being trading partners. They have flexible exchange rates and the United States current account balance with South Africa is currently zero. We are going to assume that United States real income increases while South Africa's real income remains the same. We have to say if United States net exports will increase, decrease, or remain unchanged. And we have to explain why. In order to answer this question, we need to remember that when a country has more national income, that means citizens within that country are going to buy more of everything, including other countries' goods. And other countries' goods are called imports. Furthermore, the formula for net exports is exports minus imports. So an increase in imports is actually going to decrease net exports. And that leads us to our answer here, decrease, because U.S. demand for imports from South Africa will increase. And if you have an answer something like that, you get your first point. For part B, based on the answer that we just said in part A, we have to say what will happen to the capital and financial account in the United States. And in order to answer that question, we have to remember that a decrease in net exports means a decrease in the current account. And the current account and capital and financial account must always equal zero. That means when there's a decrease in one, there's an increase in the other. And that leads us to our answer here, which is increase or becomes a surplus. For part B double I, we have to say what would happen to the actual unemployment rate in South Africa in the short run and explain. In order to answer this, we have to remember that we just said that imports into the United States from South Africa are going to increase. Now for South Africa, that means they are having an increase in exports. And more exports are going to shift South Africa's aggregate demand, increasing their real GDP output. And that leads us to our answer here, decrease, because South Africa's exports will increase, shifting aggregate demand to the right, increasing real output in South Africa. Real GDP output and unemployment are inversely related. And if you have an answer something like that, you get your next point. For part C, we're going to graph the foreign exchange market for the South African Rand compared to the United States dollar and show the impact of the increase in exports from South Africa. First, we're going to label the axes with the quantity of Rand on that x-axis and the exchange rate, which is dollars per Rand on the y-axis. We have a downward sloping demand curve upward sloping supply curve, and the equilibrium exchange rate and quantity marked. Now, in order for Americans to buy South African goods, they have to demand South African rand. So that's going to shift the demand curve to the right, increasing the equilibrium exchange rate and the equilibrium quantity of rand. You're going to get one point for the properly labeled graph and a second point for the shift showing the increase in the equilibrium exchange rate. And there you have it. Those are the answers for the 2023 macroeconomics question from set one, question number two. If you still need more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up that total review booklet. That's it for now. I'll see you all next time.